So a lot of people have been asking me about where these board component level repair videos are because I haven't uploaded of them, any of them yet with any of the new stuff. Well, here is where they are. I have to wait until I get home to upload this horse shit because the internet connection that I pay $200 a month for via Time Warner at work is no good for anything other than downloading 3 megabyte MPEG-1 porn clips. I mean, it's it is... It is piss poor atrocious. I mean, it's 30 megabit per second down, 5 megabit per second up. Good luck getting that. Seriously, good luck getting that speed. But even better, good luck having it long enough for the video to go. Yeah, I think that's a shitty internet connection to pay 200 bucks a month for. And that Time Warner and Roadrunner or whatever should just be completely fucking ashamed of themselves. I had 30 down and 5 up. And I, that was what I was provisioned for. But I was actually getting 30 down and 9.5 up with Verizon Fios in 2006 in the apartment complex I was in. And that internet connection cost about 65 bucks a month. And for three times as much, I get shittier speed from a business class connection. So yeah, what I, what I did, because I really do want to start getting these up, is I got my broken-ass Cat5 cable at home. I hooked up my old ThinkPad, the classic T520 series. And I have it running off of a USB stick because I have no operating system installed on here. So it's just an Ubuntu USB stick. And I took the uh, videos from work and I just shoved the drive into this machine. And it is uploading. Now, the thing is, I have a consumer internet connection at home. Again, I pay 40, 50 bucks a month for this. So they're going to get pissed off. They're not going to be happy that, again, I'm hammering my connection like this all fucking day. Because the thing is, you get, you get these burst speeds with cable vision, so you get this 3 to 4 to 5 megabit, megabyte, not megabit, you get 3 to 5 megabytes per second of upload speed for a good amount of time. But the thing is, after a while, they throttle your shit back to, back to this because, you know, other people want to use the internet to watch porn and check their email and everything. So this is a video that I've been trying to upload for almost a week now. You see? It does exist. I'm not making this shit up. I'm not making the. I do plan on doing this uh, idea, as I said. But yeah, the technology really ain't keeping up with me. And the other thing, oh my god, uh, it was uh, setting up that microscope camcorder. So I have this microscope camera, and I wanted to record it in real time with the camcorder. Now, the issues I'm running into are the pretty much recording two uncompressed streams in real time. Uh, it, it skull fucks the computer or uh, recording both of them and compressing them both in real time it skull fucks the computer I don't and I've tried several combinations of trying SSDs to get rid of the disk bottleneck I've tried using raw uh, video and x264 with a fast preset to get rid of CPU bottlenecks or disk bottlenecks and now I think I'm at like a USB 3 bottleneck where I really should not be capturing uncompressed video uh, using USB 3, using two different USB 3 capture cards. So I have just given up on that horse crap. I need to find a, some kind of switcher that will switch between the sources. And when I find something that will switch between two a different HDMI sources, which is the flip of a switch, while keeping the actual audio the same, because again, I don't want the narration to go away just because I switched to the microscope. That, that, that would be horse shit. Um, once I find that, hopefully I'll find something that does that at B&H tomorrow that's not fucking 3000 bucks. I will be able to start using that microscope camera to start doing some pretty cool things. And yeah, th this is one of the things that you notice about technology after a while. I mean, first, I have what I want to do. You know, this is what I want to do. I would like to have a 4K camera that looks over the table. I'd like to have a 1080p microscope camera. I'd like to record both of them at the same time, uncompressed, and upload it. And then you see what it would cost to do that. And you cry. And then you, and then you, you get, you look for the solution that you can afford. And the solution that you can afford is very, very, very different from the solution that you want. And the solution that you even wanted is very far from what is actually considered ideal. So you really just kind of wind up doing, you know, what you can with good enough. And, you know, I, that's pretty much as far as I'm going with here. But yeah, I, I really didn't think I'd be taking this thing pad out any time in the, um, in the near future. But this is, this is literally just going to sit here as my uploading machine because I, I, can't, I cannot upload anything 
from work. I mean, I can't even process credit cards half the time at work. You know, and people think that I'm, um, I'm evading taxes by saying cash only, by saying having the sign that says cash only, credit card readers down. There are people that know me that say every Saturday you do this. Like, are you? Is there any? Do you, do you have a habit that you need to take care of on Saturday? And it's like, no, my just my fucking cable is down. And such is life. What are you gonna do about it? But yeah, I'm excited. You know, we. I, I think that in the time that I've been recording this video. I did actually go up another percent in uploading this video. And again, these videos, the, the border pair ones, if I'm zooming in on small resistors and things like that, and I want you to see small details, you know, it does require that the video look proper. And for it to look proper, I am encoding these uh, pretty much the highest bit rate that YouTube will allow me to upload. So I'll use X264's highest slow placebo whatever preset. And then I'll set a bit rate so that I'm one megabyte below the, the limit on YouTube. Because these videos are going to be up forever. And this is one of the things I'm learning going back and looking at all the other videos that I did. Is that a lot of those videos look like complete cock and balls. I mean just garbage quality. And don't get me wrong, I'm glad that I did the videos I did. I'm glad that I got the thought out there. Because with my schedule, if I say I will wait until tomorrow to do this, I'll wait until tomorrow to do it. And... Tomorrow will never come. Tomorrow there will, you know, I will lose thirty thousand dollars. Tomorrow, you know, an employee will rip me off and steal shit. Tomorrow I'll have fifty customers come in. Tomorrow I'll get invited to some insane um, industry get together, whatever, and I'll completely forget, and nothing will go up. So I'm always glad that I did what I did when I did it. I really am. Uh, you know, I'm not a perfectionist. I, I believe that you know perfectionists don't get anywhere. If you want to actually get something done, you simply start doing it. And you're not afraid to not do it perfect. You just keep getting better and you fix the fuck ups as you go. But at the same time, I really, really, really wish I had better stuff at the time. I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, looking back, you always got to wish you had better stuff. And I'm looking at some of these videos, like especially the one where I'm trying to show you a no backlight repair on an A1181. This is particularly the worst fucking video I've ever done. The worst dog shit, garbage, crap. I'm using this camera that I'm holding right now as the viewfinder. So I'm holding it down like this. I mean, it's a microscope. So instead of using a microscope, because I didn't have a microscope at the camera, and the tripod that was being used for this was such a fucking piece of shit, and the zoom was such a piece of shit, the only way I can make this work is if I zoomed out all the way and went right over the board like this and let it focus. And then I was using this, you know, $100 camera's viewfinder as my microscope. And my God, it took... It took 20 minutes, 20 minutes to solder one jumper wire. 20 minutes for one jumper wire. I mean, that, that is some real garbage. And, you know, again, I don't even know why I uploaded that. I mean, it couldn't have possibly been to show you how to do anything because I don't want you soldering. I don't want you doing any type of work that's as god-awful as the crap that I did in that video. I mean, don't get me wrong, it worked. It fixed the problem. The customer didn't come back. They're still happy with their stuff. There's been no warranty on that ticket. But still, I strive to do a high quality of work. And, and, and one of the things I do want to get across with this channel is how you, uh, how you can do the same. And yeah, so since I started this video, I think I've went up 2% in my upload. Let's just watch it and see if it'll go a little faster, faster, faster. Oh my Jesus. Oh... That's also the zoom is broken on this camcorder. So the little button is fucked up. I dropped it while I was in Vegas. I'm pretty sure I was drunk. Pretty sure. You know, I don't drink very often, but every now and then it's good. Helps. <sighs> come on, come on, come on, move fast. What are you going to do?